what's up guys, HTG Brian back with more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 14 Senate Showdown Free Play. This is likely my least favorite level so far in this free play series, and it's really just due to how the challenges are. A little bit more on that in a second, but we are gonna get all six Kyber Bricks, that true Jedi status, all five of those mini kits, and yes, the three pesky challenges. Now, a quick reminder, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you're in need to jump around in the video to quickly find your collectibles. But yeah, back to the challenges. Essentially, there are three of them. One of them requires us to sort of deflect lightning back at him using the block. That's a weird one because it only happens sometimes, or so it would seem. Another one is we have to drop a droid onto Palpatine's head. Now, when he does this, he leaves the center area, preventing us from being able to shine the light in his face. Or if he hasn't spun around with a lightning attack, he won't do it. So anyways, we've got a really wonky method, and it does require us to load in to the level three different times. So we're gonna start off by getting challenge one, a dazzling display. And of course, all cutscenes and non-essential gameplay has been removed, so we jump right in to the meat and potatoes here. And we're gonna deflect, but that's not the challenge. That is actually very different. So what we're gonna do is toggle over to our other character, choose a scoundrel character, and then look up at the purple icon, which it should trigger this whole cinematic scene where he follows the line down and blasts the power box, thus turning that spotlight on and shining a light right on him. Now, again, if you drop the droid on him first, he won't be there to shine the light. If you shine the light, he leaves the middle so he won't do the lightning attack, nor will you be able to drop the droid on him. So if you got one or the other during story, this level is going to be much easier for you. But we're going to go ahead and quit the level, load back into Hoth, check that we got the challenge completed, and then load right back into the level again. I know it's sort of a pain. This is not the normal way. And if I'm being honest, I actually tried to play through this level about six or seven different times, trying different things. Like I tried, uh, you know, dropping the droid first and then immediately going and trying to do the scoundrel. So he shined the light on but he just wasn't in the middle to shine the light on i tried to lure him into the middle to shine the light that didn't work either so i tried various things now it might be possible to get them all in one go but this is pretty simple and it doesn't take a whole lot longer to load in on the levels again now the cutscenes. this has been a weird thing too i don't know if it's just a ps5 issue or what but i'm only able to skip certain cutscenes. now it turns out i was able to skip the one on this level so that was nice i didn't have to watch that cutscene over and over and over again I just had to skip it over and over and over again. But all right, we're going to deflect the old lightning back at Palpatine there. And we're going to switch to a character with double jump or maybe just cheese the jump and drop a droid right down onto his head by pulling down on the grapple point along the wall there. Now, there is two, and if you grapple them both, it's going to give you a mini kit. We'll be back for that in a hot second. Now, I sort of made my way around. You can see here, I actually waited to see if maybe he would do the lightning attack, but he left the middle, as I've already stated. Once you drop a droid or shine the light on him, almost every time he tends to leave that center area, preventing you from being able to deflect the lightning, which is part of challenge three, return to senator. So... Uh, ironically, we're actually getting these in the order that the game has them listed. So we did Dazzling Display by using the Scoundrel character to shine the light. Then we did the Drop a Droid on his head. Heads up. That was number two. Next up, we're going to jump back in. We're actually going to grab a couple of mini kits first and then complete the challenge. So uh, just a reminder, if you're looking for mini kits and you've been watching this whole time going, when are we going to get to those mini kits? Definitely use those quick, quick links, if I can say it right. Kick, kick, kick links? Kick, quick, quick, quick. Uh, anyways, moving on. Revenge of the Sith. Uh, we're going to load in for the third time. It's episode three and the third. It's the rule of three. I wonder if they did this on purpose, knowing that I would have to do this. I mean, I'm sure that they planned this just for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They probably don't even know who I am. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and deflect this ooh, lightning back at Palpatine one more time. Or Dark Sidious, if we're being technical. And all right, now make your way over to the right-hand side, and there should be this desk here. If you have the collectible detector on, you'll notice the blue halo. We're going to try to build the mini kit right away, but unfortunately, we get attacked by Sidious. So we're going to go right back to it because we is serious <laughs> about getting this mini kit. We'll go ahead and grab that up. Thank you very much. One of two. Now we need to grapple both of those hooks along the wall that we use to drop the droid down. So double jumping might work for you, or get a character like one of the the Gungans, 
And uh, I guess that's what, Captain Tarples? And make your way. Now, I don't think I officially grappled that all the way down. I think I got a little jump happy there, and I didn't complete it. There you can see the droid is dropping down. And um, in this particular case, uh, we get a little lucky because the droid dropped on his head, and he stays there. Now, one thing I found, too, in a couple of my goes was that my secondary character took out the guards, and then they would start attacking Palpatine in the middle. And that would s sort of uh, divert him or make him do stuff that was different. But I, I, you know, I tried to find some sort of uh, consistency with the way this level played, and I did not luck out. I thought for sure I was going to have to replay it all over again after the droid dropped, and and he, but he stayed. He stayed. So here we are at a challenge three. Now, basically, we are just playing the game of patience and waiting for him to throw a few attacks. Now, if there is a way to trigger the lightning attack, please drop some comments down below so not only I can refer other people, but maybe other viewers would see your comment as well. But essentially, like I said, I played this level five or six times, trying it different ways, and every time it seemed to play a little differently. So um, we just figured the easiest way to make sure it would work for you is to make sure that you just reloaded the level each time. And hopefully when you drop the droid or got that mini kit for pulling both of those hooks, hopefully that didn't require another load because you might have to play it four times. But again, the, the way this game loads and how quick these levels are, it's pretty easy to do it. And although it's sort of a pain, once you get it in your rear view, it'll be, you know, something you don't have to worry about. All right, I think he's getting ready to go ahead and do the spin attack. In fact, I think I trigger. Yes, yeah, so yeah. He's attacking in the middle. I'm like, what are you doing? So I get up close and try to remove him. And then all of a sudden, he starts doing it. So to do this challenge, just spam the block button, which happens to be L2 or left trigger or uh, whatever it is on the Switch. I apologize for not knowing off the top of my head. But that's all you got to do. I mean, uh, just spam the button, and it should deflect or reflect that back however you want to say it and then it's just a matter of depleter in the meter and yep that's right so all the challenges done did and we've got two of our mini kits so we just need to get that true jedi status which we're getting pretty close we're uh, into the blue anyways and we've already actually accumulated blue i should have noted that too in the story we had uh the blue status which is why it pretty much loaded right into that and represented us being in the blue where we're not sad well we kind of are this level was kind of a bummer if i'm being honest I, not that i am dissing the game i very much have enjoyed this game and my gameplay However, this level, I think, takes the cake of being towards the bottom of the barrel for me. And it's really only just because of how the challenges affect the way the level plays. And, and beyond that, it's, it's solid. The level's actually pretty fun. It's very creative. It's, it's a fun twist on what we saw in the movie. And uh, Okay, so we've depleted the meter. He gives us the old choke hold there, pulls us both onto this center platform, and then up, up, and away we go. To be honest with you, I do not think you need to spam the button. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just a distraction while the game sort of loads the background assets up and around you. But once we gain control, he's going to do a ground pound, and we got to dodge that. I'm pretty bad at these close ground pound attacks. And then he jumps off. And we're going to turn around and look for a couple of handhelds behind us because there's a mini kit floating right below it. So woo to the hoo. Watch that step, though. <laughs> All right. Next up, we're going to toggle over to a character that has the glide or jetpack ability. In our case, we're going to choose Django Fett after I fumble the buttons there a wee bit. And I'm going to scroll on down and over. I, this is another kind of pet peeve. I'm not a big fan of how the controls are for selecting characters. I miss the old big character grid. And I know there's a ton of characters, probably too many for one grid. But I would have accepted like a second page or something versus like how they have it. It would have been cool if they broke it down this way too, but I miss the old way. Now, speaking of two, I've fallen twice. This is a funny angle of a jump. You can see it is completable. Now, there is a switch right there. You might be able to use the character with the fools to go ahead and flip that from a distance, but I'm not sure on that. I went ahead and flipped the switch manually, which is probably a mistake because I struggle with this. The, the next and last mini kit requires us to find and shoot five of these sort of brown... They're like mini kit containers, or they almost look like a dirty lantern of sorts. But we're going to find five of them. Well, we find four of them pretty easy. The fifth one is a funny angle. So I get three from up top, and then I do the old Yetus of death off the ledge here, and I land safely down below, and I turn around, and I'm looking for the halos, but I only see the one. This last one really took me for a loop. 
And there it is right there. But somehow I didn't see it, you guys. So Bad Eye Brian over here missing it. I run all the way around and eventually I do find it. But again, it's a funny angle. It's right along the ledge. There we go. It's right by the handles. That's probably the best way to refer to it. All right, we got all five of those kits. So now it's just defeat Darth Sidious. So we're gonna jump over here. Now this last section of the video has been sped up ever so slightly. I figure I would owe you the honesty of that just in case you were wondering why I was plummeting faster than you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Or maybe you're fighting and, and just noticing that things aren't moving on your screen. That's because I've sped it up, but just ever so slightly. Like we're running at like 110%. So only 10% faster than normal, which again, probably isn't too noticeable but if you're playing along and going wait a minute why is he jumping so much faster it's because i've got it sped up all right so we've got like three waves here it's that rule of three again not only do we have to load into the level three times but we have to uh fight darcidius on three different platforms to take his meter down and uh, eventually we get into a saber lock where we have to hit the button or spam 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 and once we do, it takes us to the final cutscene. Now, of course, you could save and exit right now if you are in a hurry to get to the next level, uh, or you could just simply uh, play along with us. It's up to you. We're gonna need a character that has the uh, what is it? It's not. It's not the enemy. It's the uh, yeah. I gotta pull up the thing here. And uh, it's not Jedi. What is it? It's Hero. Yeah, why couldn't I think of that? Brain fart. All right, so Bad Eye Brian and Brain Fart Brian both made an appearance in this video. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and follow the icons on screen. For us, it was down, 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 left. Yours is likely going to be different. Once it's successfully punched in, it's going to go ahead and drop the platform with Palpatine on it up towards us. And we're going to toggle over to our saber holder here and get up close and personal and give him the old cha, 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 cha. And all right, look at that meter. Got depleted fast. We uh, cracked open another one of those shields. And he has refilled, <laughs> refilled his meter. <laughs> You like that? That's a little bit of a stretch there. Shield and filled into field, right? Field. All right, moving along. Moving along. All right, we got uh, more baddies. Need a ratty. Feel free to use the old force to yeet them off the ledge. That might be a faster way of doing things, too. And last but not least, we got this final meter. And then, like I said, we're going to lock up sabers. Actually, you know what? I think he takes off and goes one more spot. I'm pretty sure of it. In fact, look at that. He does. So I was wrong. It's actually four, or maybe I just counted wrong right now. Maybe this is the third one coming up. Regardless, we in the home stretch right now. He sends in a few more baddies. I do a couple of ground pounds or butt slams, as we like to call them around here. And let's see here. That's right. It's not quite the same, though, because, I mean, although he is sort of ground pounding, it's not like, like some of the earlier Lego characters would jump up and then like slam down on their bum. Right. And so that's where the whole butt slam came from. Also, there was uh, a show that my son and I used to watch. Uh, I, I'm drawing a blank what the name of it was right now, but the uh, main character used to do face slams, I believe is what it was called. Face slam. And so it was kind of like uh, a take on that, but a different version. So. Uh, if you remember what that is, I'd love to. I'm, I'm just, all, all I'd have to say is, hey, Reese, what was that show? Face, he, he would know it right off the bat because he's got better memory than me. But he's not old like me. <laughs> all right. Uh, final battle here. We're going to go ahead and lock him up. And away we go. Now, uh, cutscenes have been removed as this is the free play. So we're landing on Hoth for the final time in this video. Anyways, there's a lot of uh, back and forth, huh? So I apologize for that, but hopefully you found it as easy as I did once I figured it out. I mean, it was a pain, and I didn't want to try to, like, stress you guys out. And knowing that you guys were likely going to have to return if it didn't work out. Like, right, you drop a droid, and maybe he doesn't leave the middle. Maybe you can stay. So there are going to be some situations that work out better for you. And who knows? Maybe we'll find out later that I was just bad at game and uh, could have done it differently. <laughs> who knows? But uh, I feel like this is a pretty efficient way. And uh, we got all those challenges checked off. And, of course, we're going to verify that we got all them kits. As you already know, we did. But let's go ahead and look at what we got. What we got. Ooh, it's a V-Wing. Nice. Nice one. A little micro fighter. And, of course, no characters as we got them all in the story. All right. One jump for each time we load it into the level. Woo to the hoo. That's going to end it for level 14, Senate Showdown Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click a like. And, of course, drop comments if you got some more info for us. As for me, though, that is going to do it. As always, until next time. Slip.